Well, the fate of a convicted Austin police officer lies in the hands of a Travis County judge. Today, Christopher Taylor was expected to be sentenced for the 2019 shooting death of Morris De Silva. Taylor was found guilty of deadly conduct by a jury and faces up to 10 years behind bars. KVU's Kelsey Sanchez joins us from the Travis County Courthouse to bring us the very latest. Kelsey, good morning. Good morning, Yvonne. Well, throughout that sentencing phase, we've seen the prosecution and the defense both bring in witnesses and present their arguments to the judge. Now, later this afternoon, the defense will complete those arguments before the judge hands Taylor his sentence. Now, to give you a recap of what we've been seeing so far, just last month, prosecution had brought in De Silva's father and Michael Ramos's mother. Ramos was shot and killed by Taylor in 2020. However, when Taylor was tried for that shooting, it ended in a deadlock and charges against him were dropped. During one of the testimonies last week, Taylor's attorneys brought in two former APD chiefs, which included interim chief Robin Henderson. Brian Manley, who led the department from 2016 to 2021, says he conducted two of the investigations and afterwards put Taylor back on the job. I don't know how they'll move forward because the determination of the entire chain of command for Officer Taylor was that he actually followed the policies and training and with the verdict that was rendered, that obviously uh, makes it very difficult uh, for officers that are working today. Now, at the time of the 2019 shooting, De Silva was experiencing a mental health crisis and was holding a knife. Now, throughout Taylor's trial, jurors had to determine Taylor's response and whether it was reasonable. Now, Taylor's attorneys have been pushing for the judge to consider probation instead of prison. Again, that sentencing is expected to happen later this afternoon. We're live at the Travis County Courthouse. I'm Kelsey Sanchez, KP News.